Hey guys, today I'm making Corvo's blade from Dishonored, the collapsible folding blade that he uses in the game, Iconic Blade. It is being made to go to Alien Go Boom for them to test on their alien analog heads. I'm not making it collapsible like it is in the game because that's just impractical. Either I can make it collapsible or I can make it usable. So we're going with a fixed blade, make it look like it's collapsible, but it won't actually fold up because it's just not practical to use as a collapsing blade. Also, you may have noticed I'm using a new camera. This isn't technically a new camera. I got a new case for my GoPro. It's not all scarred and pitted and scratched up, and so it should be much, much clearer, and I'll be able to get higher quality videos out of this. I'm trying to up my production quality, get better videos out, um, and it helps the YouTube channel grow quite a bit, and uh, that's what I've been suggested by several people, big channels. They told me the main thing holding me back right now is my video, the camera quality. And so I'm trying to up that in as many ways as I can. I can't afford to get nice new cameras right now. I'm not making any money off of this channel yet. And so I just kind of got to go with what I have. And uh, in that case, it's a new case for my GoPro. And it should work quite well. So this is the template of the blade itself. And there are four of those prongs, one on top, on the bottom, and then two more, one on each side, on the lower edge, uh, not centered. Um, and I am going to be making this out of stainless steel for the handle and the prongs. The blade is going to be high carbon steel, uh, and I'm making these pieces fixed. Um, they would normally move to tuck in and close over the blade, but again, I'm not making it actually collapsible. Also. I lengthen the blade a little bit just because since it's not having to actually collapse it's nice to have a longer blade when you can so might as well make it a little bit longer I think it's uh, two or three inches longer than the actual blade in the game is so how I'm gonna do this I'm gonna cut out stainless steel pieces this is stainless steel 14 gauge I'm gonna cut out the pieces for the handle this is a hexagon shape and so I'm gonna cut them out break them and then weld them together with the TIG in that shape About to cut out the blade. This is a uh, hardened piece of steel, pre-hardened, pre-tempered. It's from a farm implement. Not sure what type of steel it is, but I've made knives out of it before and they're the toughest knives I've ever seen. I have to add an extension of mild steel to the blade tang. The tang already goes into the handle a little ways, but in order to go all the way through and weld into the back cap to attach it solidly, it has to be extended. The piece that I cut it out of wasn't long enough or wide enough to cut the full length blade, but this should work fine. Um, this will be a weak point, but we'll, it'll also be welded up here um, and in the back, and so it would take a lot of force to break it in the middle.
as you can see from our tests, uh, the steel is very, very strong. Uh, as you can see from some of the uh, water bottles that we hit, it didn't cut all the way through them, but they were tough. I did get a perfect slice through milk jug that Justin completely missed on the camera. Um, but from the hard plastic that we hit, it didn't damage the edge at all. Of course, that's plastic. But this steel always is uh, surprising me at how tough it is. I don't even know what it is still, but I have a steady supply of it. It's from farm implements, and so I'm going to use it for as long as I have a supply because it's good stuff. So this is going to Alien Go Boom, and uh, you'll see it being tested on one of their alien heads. And that is a wrap for this build. Like, comment, subscribe, and new build video every Saturday morning.